Hello everyone, I'm going to be doing a short video on acceleration. Uh, this is more towards A level, but um, GCSE students can get this as well, okay? So, acceleration. So, acceleration is a vector, meaning that it has a magnitude in the direction. So, it means that it has a number, and then I can have a positive or negative acceleration, okay? So, acceleration by definition is the change of velocity per unit of time and it comes with the units of meters per second squared. Now because it's a vector I can have positive or negative acceleration as I told you right? So I can have acceleration which is positive and means that the velocity increases with time or I can have deceleration which is when I have a negative acceleration meaning that the velocity decreases with time. Okay. Uh, now, these are two graphs with uh, showing speed time graphs, okay, um, showing acceleration. Now, on the first graph, the one on the left, I have uniform acceleration. I have a straight line. The gradient is the same. On the second graph, I have a non-uniform acceleration. And I know that because my gradient changes. is now a curve. My line now is a curve, okay? So, for my uniform acceleration, it's really easy to calculate. Uh, I just do V minus U over T, where V is the final velocity, U is the initial velocity, T is the time taken for this change in velocity. If I have a non-uniform acceleration, I get the acceleration from the um, gradient of the graph, okay? So I need to um, draw a tangent, a line, a tangent line, and then from there I'll calculate the, the, uh, the gradient of the graph, okay? So more on non-uniform acceleration. So uniform acceleration is when the velocity of the object changes at a constant rate. Non-uniform acceleration can happen when the direction of motion of the object changes at a varying rate. So I could have always the same velocity, or no, actually velocity is a vector, so I could always have the same speed but going around in a circle, and if that is happening, then I'm changing the direction at a varying rate. Oh, and then my circle could get like bigger and smaller, and a, a bigger curve or smaller one, so this is non-uniform acceleration. I could have that the speed of the object changes at a varying rate, faster, slower, uh, going faster, a little bit more faster, going slower at a lower rate, for example, or I could have both, okay? So remember that acceleration is when I have the change of my velocity, okay, over a period of time, but it can happen always at by the same amount, the same rate. If I have not always in the same rate, then my acceleration is not uniform and it could be even the same speed but changing the direction at a different rate, varying rate, or changing the speed at varying rate, or both, okay? And that's all, okay? So may the mass times acceleration or force be with you. Take care and I'll speak to you um, maybe tomorrow, maybe today. Depends how things are going. Um, so yeah, take care. Bye.